Hey there! Today we're going to be talking about a pen that I thought was very fascinating and I can tell you straight away this is not going to be for everyone so you might want to decide in the next five seconds to not watch it. The pen was sent to me by Hong Dian, it's the D5X and I think it has a really cool finish. A lot of detail on it uh, and I'm going to go over all the different parts of that finish and I'll show you how it writes, writes very nicely and, uh, and that's pretty much all there's to it. Uh, so, that's it. A very kind thank you to Hong Dian for sending me this. There is a lot of ground to cover with this pen, so let's not waste any time and dive straight in. Okay, the Hong Dian D5X. So it came in, in a, uh, uh, this box. I actually think they sent me two at the same time. I think I've just accidentally switched them, but it doesn't matter because it's the same thing. So silver-colored cardboard outer sleeve. And then this kind of tin. I really like these tins because you can rip out the soft stuff and then you have a, a hinge tin that you can put other pens in or put them on your desk, whatever. And a little pen condom. Now, um, it looks online that it comes with a different box, a, a slightly more luxurious box. So it's possible they just send this to me because it was for review. That's perfectly fine. I don't, I don't care that much about the box, but look it up online. Um, I looked at uh, Amazon, $59 to $69 Canadian for this pen. Um, so, so mind you, that is Canadian. Um, I thought that was a fairly fair price. So I'm just taking a sip of tea just for what you get. Now, um, I'm, I'm, I'm likely going to mispronounce some words here, so, so please forgive me. This is a pen made to kind of commemorate some design from the Qin dynasty. And there's a lot going on design-wise, so we need to take some time to look at all the different parts. So basics, it has a fine steel nib, it has a converter included, it has a metal body which is meant to have a balanced weight, and I think it does. There are different finishes, so this is the red one, you can get the same pen but with a green finish. So there are some options if this red isn't really your cup of tea, but I really liked it, so I was quite excited for it. We have a clip that is spring-loaded, at least it looks to me like it's spring loaded but now I'm actually no I actually don't think it's spring loaded I think that's just a clip don't worry about it I never said that <clears throat> moving on a lot of detail so what do we have two layered cap you have that red and then this this uh, it's like a gunmetal gray really um, two layered on the cap to represent the intricate dynamics of prefectures and counties back in the day um, it's adorned with legalist chez Zhu. I hope I have not butchered that too badly. It's on the cap. This is a sort of um, a mythical animal that looks a bit like an ox or a, or a goat with black fur on it. It has a horn um, and as I understand it the, uh, the, the um, uh, folklore is that it can immediately tell right from wrong. So if you're a, a corrupt government official you get speared on its horn because the animal knows that you're you're corrupt you're evil which i thought was actually really cool okay um so that's there there is that uh, that was apparently that they, they described it as a guiding um philosophical principle of the of the uh, the chin era um what else do we have on the cap here we have a mountain and then we have algae we have uh, a black dragon that's I'm just going to use this here um, there's a black dragon there we have um, currency the currency let me see where that was again um, oh sorry that's here on the end of the barrel something that represents currency um, then we have uh, the the arrow crossbow arrow uh, that that is the the clip uh, and we have on the center band we have a font sorry I'm so sorry that was off camera a, a font from from the uh, um, era um, and then we have a I thought this was here a Xuan bird 
I, I really feel that I've butchered that nicely. Um, so again, please forgive me, but that, that's there. So there is a lot to see. And I think that's really neat. Oh, and we have the, the Great Wall, by the way, here on the, on the cap. That's the Great Wall. So again, a lot to see. And I think those, those details, those intricate details are really, really, oops, I'm sorry, I just knocked something over, are really, really cool and really set the pen apart. So we have all that going on. Let's talk a little bit about the pen itself, which, as I understand, they're all hand-checked and written with before they get shipped. And I will say, out of the box, wrote beautifully. So there are some expensive brands that could take a page from that book, maybe. Okay, so there we have the telling right from wrong animal on the finial, which looks pretty cool. We have the clip, which I thought was spring-loaded, but it's just really springy. It's really neat. Uh, we have this beautiful, intricate, a detail on the cap which I liked a lot and likewise here to the sides I think it looks really neat we have this sort of grooved bit there which makes it very easy to unscrew and then this lovely checkered bit on the barrel more detail down here and then we have the end cap with currency uh, I realized I didn't show you this next to Metropolitan. This is not a small pen, so it's definitely nice, large, without being obscenely oversized. I think it's really cool. You can unscrew the cap, and then you have a nice, large pen that doesn't post, not securely anyway, but, but that would turn into a huge pen to begin with, and it is a nice size pen in my mind. We have the beautiful black nib, um, which is marked F for fine, does say Hong Dian, does say 1997. I'm assuming, the, I'm assuming that's the year they were uh, established. And it has some, some nice scroll work on it. I'll make sure that is, uh, there's a close-up of that on the website. It does look like a plastic feed, but interesting shape. I just had to check if that was not ebonite. It didn't say it was. I, I, this is very fine. I'm assuming that is a plastic feed. And then finally we have the converter. Um, labeled Hong Dian, nice uh, metal there. I always like it when they when they label it, and and it's a converter. I mean, there's not much to say about that, but it works well. It has a little um, O-ring there to make sure the barrel doesn't unscrew by accident. Everything screwed back together. Lovely little pen. Let's do some writing. So here we go. I've seen this as two words and as one word, so that's a really weird D. I don't know why, but there we are. D5X, fine steel nib, uh, and the ink is, it's not Mont Blanc, is it? Schaefer Red. Nice fine. Remember, camera microphone always makes it sound scratchier than it is. I actually find this a really nice nib. It's certainly fine. You certainly feel some feedback, but I would absolutely not call this scratchy. Very nice. Line variation. Let's start off with wetness. Nice, well-tuned, Again, really pleasant out of the box. As always, very, very careful. It's not labeled as a flex nib, but it looks to me like you can squeeze out some line variation. It is a steel nib, just be very careful. Reverse writing <clears throat> runs pretty dry pretty quickly, so I wouldn't expect to get an awful lot of that. Maybe with a more saturated ink, I don't know. Um, but I, I, this is obviously not not saturated. So there we are. Um, that's what I have, isn't it? So I think we should talk about likes and dislikes. What do I like and what do I not like about the D5X? I think it's a beautiful pen. I think there is a lot of care put into designing it and creating it. A lot of detail. If you like Chinese history, I think you would really enjoy this pen. Uh, 
The material is great, a lot of metal, it feels very robust, it's a lovely writer at the end of the day. That's the most important thing about a pen, it writes beautifully out of the box, no issues. I think it's great. Different color finishes, I really love the red, I thought it's a very nice popping uh, finish. Great size, it's a bit bigger. I think there is a lot to love about this pen and I think the price is not unfair. $59, $69, depends a little bit on where you look. They're available on Amazon, so that's easy to get to. I think that's a fair price for the amount of detail that you get in this pen and how lovely it's made. It's a really pleasant pen and it's a very fun writer. So I like all these things. Uh, again, I love the looks. I know it's probably not for everyone, but I love it. Uh, I love how big it is without being obscenely oversized. It's a nice bigger pen, very comfortable, very nice writer. Metal makes it solid. Uh, I like that. Things I don't like so much, and here I'm, I'm, I'm getting really nitpicky. Uh, there, are, there are two things that stood out to me. One is this, this relief on the section. Although beautiful, um, I have found that, let me try to show you that close up. Uh, if you dip this pen into a bottle of ink with these kinds of grooves, they can catch some ink. This is not a big deal. Just make sure that you have some very absorbent cloth or even a tissue at hand to wipe down the section. If you use a cloth that's not super absorbent, that ink can get stuck in those grooves a bit and then when you uncap it, you get ink over your fingers. It's not a big deal. Just make sure that you take care of it. And the other thing, and this is really nitpicking, is to me, this looks, two things I can say about this. One is this, and it looks a bit like a blind cap or actually a piston turning knob because of the grooves and it's not. So it's just a cartridge converter filled pen but this is not one of those pens you can actually where you can actually operate the converter by twisting the end of the barrel. Is it an issue? I don't think so but for some people it might be. Second thing, this to me looks like it should post but it doesn't really post comfortably. You, even if you jam the cap on the back of the barrel it's a somewhat loose fit uh, and it, it can actually become dislodged. So then don't post it. I mean, let's let's be frank here. This is not a small pen. So I don't know if, if posting it really adds that much beyond making the pen really, really large. Not a big deal. I think it's a very nice pen. A very pleasant writer with beautiful eye for detail and some lovely colors and their finishes well put together. That's all I have. So. A very kind thank you to Hong Dian for sending me. Let me know what you think of the pen and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye.